Hey friends, welcome back to Put Note with the Pine Pines. We are a mother-daughter YouTube channel where we showcase and discuss everything about our natural hair from the way we style and care as well as giving you hairstyle inspiration that is quick and easy to achieve with minimum effort. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications to catch our weekly videos every Saturday and Sunday. To all of my returning subscribers, hey mama, hey bestie, hey friend, it's nice to see you once again. Let's get into today's video where I'll be showing you guys how I installed these 30 36 inch faux locks. Hey y'all, so I am in the midst of doing my next protective style and I'm gonna do some more faux locks. Um, but I'm gonna do it my easy crochet way where I just do the perimeter and then crochet the middle part of my hair. But I'm blowing drying my hair out first because it's just a lot easier for me to uh, put my hair in cornrows when it's in this blowed out state. Um, so I just did one half and we got the other half to do and I just <laughs> went, <laughs> I just want to admire the length that we have seen this year, okay? Like, my God. Even from cutting off several pieces of hair from when I took my locks out last time, she still looks so healthy and beautiful. Now, I'm going in with my Shark IQ Styler. Came with two attachments and I purchased the diffuser separately. If you do want to check it out, it is linked in my Amazon storefront. Now, they call it the IQ Styler because the attachments, once you put them on, they already changed the settings on here to what you need it to be. Now, of course, you can always customize it to what you like, but I like that you have that nice ease to it where you don't have to guess or you know you don't have to constantly keep making sure you have it on the right setting it automatically pushes it on there for you it does great it doesn't take long for me to blow dry my hair i work in sections and it takes me probably five to eight minutes to get a section completely dry before i move on to the next um uh, so yeah i love this bad boy it came in at three colors i got green i believe there was a pink and there was like a brown like copper looking color the products i'm going in for my heat protectant in this video i'm going in with the hot commodity by taraji p henson and it really does good like it really softens my hair it has a great smell it's not overbearing at least to me but i love my products that smell really good and then after i use my heat protectant i then go in with the keep shining and this is a dry mist oil i like to go over it just to kind of like seal it in and this just kind of helps add shine really i'm gonna go ahead and finish up the other half i just want to talk about the tools and the products that i'm using and kind of go into detail so now if i've told you about the products and tools that i'm using to uh, blow out my hair let's get into the actual tutorial so like i said i work in small sections so each twist i take my time to make sure that i blow dry it thoroughly i go in first with my heat protectant and detangle it real quick before i go in with that styling tool and i'm going in with the iq styler the shark iq styler love this blow dryer so i wanted to record this in real time for you guys so this is not sped up at all just so you can see how fast this blow dry works now before it would take me anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes for each section to dry out and now it is taking me like literally two minutes just to blow a section out which is awesome so this blow dryer is effective and I just love how easy it is now probably the only con I do have about it because I do want to give you my honest honest opinion about this blow dryer it is a little heavy so even though it is small and compact like it, it has some weight to it so i did have to take a break like during that halfway mark from doing one side to the other i did have to take like a 10 15 minute break because my shoulders my hands was cramping up and everything trying to hold my arms up with this blow dryer that could just mean that i need to visit the gym but i'm not used to my blow dryer being that heavy so this isn't like some cheap plastic blow dryer like it is a good heavy high quality blow dryer and that's what i love the most about it so there you have it there is my hair right there two minutes of me blow drying it and it is pretty much done so once i i got it completely dry i then go in with that dry mist oil that i mentioned earlier by taraji p henson and this just adds that nice beautiful shine to my hair it softens it and i just love the way it smells and i love to have oil on my hair before i braid it up because this is a protective style so i want to make sure my hair is well taken Taken care of for the next two three weeks while it is in this style and just look at all that length i cannot wait to get my hair trimmed i'm 
thinking of going to visit a professional to get my hair pressed and trimmed for the winter season. I'm waiting for the humidity to let up just a little bit more here in North Carolina, but I'm super excited to see my inches and my growth for the past year. So here I am braided up. I braided off camera. It's just a little bit easier for me to braid off camera, but everything is straight back. As you can see, I left my leave out around the perimeter. Everything is straight back connected and I now have this one braid left that I need to tuck away. And I'm just gonna go in with my crochet needle and intertwine it into those cornrows and that is it. No sewing down, no gluing, no nothing. Just a simple crochet needle. Now it's time to get into the hair. Now these locks were sent to me from an Amazon seller. They reached out and wanted me to try out these beautiful faux locks and I picked the color 350 because I rarely see it in 350 I rarely see those color locks so when I saw it I snatched it up and it is perfect for fall because you know everybody's always doing orange and burgundies and them warm beautiful colors that I love to see so I was already done told my sister like be prepared to see me in 350 all year long for the rest of the year don't see me in nothing else I'm not doing black no more I did forget to oil my scalp. I'm going in with the Black Seed Ladies Grow and Glow Oil. Love this oil. Speak highly of it. Use it on myself and the girls. It is lightweight. Smells so good. It has this nice herbal smell to it. And you can purchase this through my Amazon storefront. So this is the first package done. And we're just going to move on to the next. All right, y'all, so I have been finished installing. Um, I did four out of the six packs that he sent me, and each pack has uh, 14 strands. So um, I feel like that was pretty good for me to do the middle section of my hair. Turn around so you can see how full it is. So as you can see, I'm filling it in pretty good. So now I need to do the perimeter and I have another two packs of hair left and this will probably take me maybe a pack and a half. And I also bought the spring twist hair to wrap it. It's 18 inches and this is the 350 right there, 18 inches, 350. Um, I'm gonna braid my hair down into individual braids and we're gonna start on the individual lock and we'll be back with the finished look. Now we're gonna get into doing the individual locks, which is fairly easy. So I part off my hair into small sections to create these small braids. I braided it at the base and then I just twisted it the rest of the way down. And this is what it's looking like so far and I really do love it. So my method to installing, I have the lock already on the crochet needle and I crochet it on the shaft of the braid rather than at the base of the braid. Then I'm gonna go at the base of my braid and pull my braid through, not the lock my braid through now once i pull my braid through i'm then going to pretty much like cut my hair in half well not cut my hair in half but fold it in half <laughs> i'm gonna fold my hair in half so now all i have is maybe three or four inches that i have to wrap the spring twist hair around so i started out with 18 inches on my spring twist and i cut it in half because i realized i didn't need the full 18 inches now if i would have kept my hair completely at that length i would have needed all 18 inches so going in with the spring twist hair now i'm taking my crochet needle and we have this blunt side from where i cut it i'm going to make sure that blunt side stays with my braid and i'm going to use the other hair that is remaining to wrap it around my braid and i just go with whatever rotation is comfortable for me um it depends on what side of the, my head i'm on i'm right-handed so Sometimes I do a clockwise wrap. Sometimes I do a counterclockwise wrap because I'm doing it on myself It just depends on where I'm at on my head. I don't use any nail glue I just simply palm roll it and I have no issues with it unraveling or anything The spring twist hair works so well with the faux locks that you do not have to worry about The hair unraveling from itself now if you use passion twist hair, which is like that deep water wave hair 
that hair is a lot more looser and it, you do kind of have to use the nail glue to make sure it doesn't unravel but the spring twist hair matches the texture of the faux locks no issues at all with the simple palm roll and you're done and that is going to complete the look for these 36 inch faux locks in the color 350. The install took me a total of uh, four hours to do all together, which is probably about half of the time that it would have took if I would have did these all individual. And I prefer the crochet look anyway, because it gives me a more fuller look, like I have more locks installed rather than the individual way. But it just depends on what you're looking for. If you'd rather have less locks on your head, then maybe Maybe do the individual way but let me go know if any other styles you guys would love to see here on my channel thank you guys for watching we will see y'all on another one be blessed and be safe